Welcome back AACPS staff. In this last video in our series, we're going to look at how to add this calendar to our class so that the students can see all of those due dates for their assignments as well as these other important events that I might add. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a widget and add it right there to the class landing page. So if you remember in the last video, the absolute last thing we did was to copy this customized embed code that we created that only had these two calendars. The calendars for the class and the AACPS calendar. So now that we've got that copied, we're ready to navigate over to Brightspace. And here we are on my course landing page, and this is where I'm going to create my widget. So the first step to creating a widget is to get into your course admin. Now if you don't see course admin on your nav bar for your course, you might have to go to class tools first and then click on course admin. Then we're going to click on the option in the menu that says widgets. This is where you can see all of the different widgets that Brightspace and AACPS have available to you, but we're going to create our own. So I'm going to click right here at the top, create widget. And then I'm going to type in the name of the widget, simply naming it class calendar. And for the description, I'm going to put exactly what I put on the description when I created the calendar. Now I'm going to click on this tab over on the right hand side that says content. And in order to add that embed code, I'm going to click on the icon in the lower right hand corner here that says HTML source editor. When I click on that, it's going to open another window here. I'm going to click in the window and I'm going to paste in that embed code right there. Now, one thing that I highly recommend you do before you click save to exit out of this window, I have found from trial and error that these two numbers right here for both width and height are just a little bit too large for the way it displays here in Brightspace. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to change this 800 to a 700 and then I'm going to change the 600 to a 500. So all I did was change 8 to 7 and 6 to 5 to make it just a tiny bit smaller. Now I'm ready to click save. My widget is created, so I'm ready to click Save and Close. Now if I navigate back to my home page, the last step is to make that widget appear on my home page for the class for my students. The easiest way to do that is to scroll to the bottom of my home page and click on these three dots in the lower right hand corner that are the Actions menu for the home page. Then choose Edit this home page. Now, if I scroll down just a little bit, you can see that the current layout of my home page is what's called the basic two panels. There's a large panel on the left and a smaller one on the right. It's important that you add the calendar to the larger panel whenever possible to make it display the best that it can. So I'm going to click here where it says add widgets under the larger left hand side of my display. I'm going to scroll down and find that class calendar widget that I just created, check it, and choose Add. Now I've got my class calendar widget added. I'm ready to click Save and Close. My calendar displays right there. Just to give you a quick idea of what I meant when I said it won't display properly if you put it in the smaller of the widget windows, I'm going to go back into that home page actions menu and edit this home page. And I'm going to drag that class calendar over to the right hand side, the smaller of the widget windows, to show you what it looks like in that smaller area. Now you can see how the calendar is very narrow and what they get is a scroll bar along the bottom to scroll back and forth. Not ideal and not really what I want. So that's where we say the best practice is to always put it in the larger window available for your widgets. So I'm going to drag it back over to the left, save, and much better when they can actually see the full calendar.